I was going to tell you, oh, so I looked up, I was looking up something, uh, the reason I got there is I was looking up something that sold and I wanted to see what it sold for. And one of the things about eBay's auctions is if you, when somebody does a best offer, you can't tell what it sold for. Right. But you can if you sort it highest to lowest or vice versa, because it will, whatever it's sold for will fit in in between other things that sold. So as long as you put it in between other things that sold um, at a at the listed price, you can figure out in a range what it sold for. Oh, right. So the thing I was looking for is, let's say it, it sold for like $4,000. And I wanted to, but it was best offer. So somebody bought it less than $4,000. So I wanted to see how much less than right. 4000 So I had to search a bunch of other things to get it to sort in, because 4000 is a lot of money on eBay. Mm -hmm. And it took me several games with those stupid levers before I got there. But as I was searching for that, I ended up having to put in Star Wars because Star Wars has so much stuff that sells that high that it gave me enough items that I could kind of peg it where it sold. I saw issue 42, which is the Boba Fett Empire Strikes Back issue. Yep. 9.8, 4,000 dollars. Crazy, isn't it? I got three of them. Yeah. I, I couldn't find them to get them graded. I sent more stuff to get graded last week. I need to find them to get it graded. Yep. Send them out. <laughs> I don't know what the rest of the run is worth. There's still, there's still, there's some stuff that. What's a graded number one go for? Any idea? No. no. Idea. Well, there's, yeah, there's still a few out there that. The, that there's, 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 there's a bunch of them out there that still have some, that have some value. Yeah. Some of, some in the 30s too. Cause you, I think you get the first appearance of Lando in there somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Um. And that's, but that 42 isn't the first appearance of Boba Fett because he was in another book. They consider it the first appearance. No, of Boba Fett. I, I, no, I think there's, it's a gray area because he was in something else, um, and that's the Empire Strikes Back adaptation. Which is funny because when they got to Return of the Jedi, they ran it as a miniseries. They didn't do it as part of the regular run. Oh. Um, but I don't think that's technically the first appearance of Boba Fett. That's what you'll hear it all the time as though. Really? That's what it goes under as, yeah. There's first another book that, that, that can be considered his first appearance too. Oh. That might be like a cartoon book or something. Well, I know his first appearance wasn't a cartoon. <laughs> Is it, Master Luke? I'm not sure. You saved my life. Thank you. You are alone. I have two droids. We've come in search of a ship that crashed near here. Maybe I can help you. I am Boba Fett. You got me that for Christmas. I did. Yep. The Saturday. Saturday. Yep. Yeah. That, that Christmas. Yep. Star Wars Christmas. The special. Ewok wasn't it the Ewok Christmas special or something or yeah. the Wookiee Christmas special. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It was. Definitely interesting. I actually sat through that twice. Once when it was on TV because I was. Kid. I watched it. I watched it. When it was on and then TV too. once when you got the DVD. And I sat through it. I watched it before I got it. Before I gave it to you. Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> I want to make so sure. So that DVD's been watched twice. Yeah. I should put that. I could sell it. I put it on eBay. I want to make sure it, it worked. It's been watched twice. Yeah. When I bought it, I want to make sure it worked because obviously it was burned. You know, it wasn't a. Uh, I mean, I don't think, bootleg. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. bootleg. So I wanted to make sure it worked oh, before. Which means I probably can't put it on eBay. I'll be reported. Right? Bootleg. Yeah. Can't sell that. No, it'll, it'll, it'll go through. It's when you try to sell twelve of them that they that they uh, <laughs> that they, they figure it out. One will make it through. You know, twelve won't. I got a nine point two back on that Punisher on that Punisher. Did you really? Wow, really? Yeah. And I that's it's not back the, yet. They emailed it. They emailed they emailed the grades. They emailed the grades to you. And you, that went to CBCS. Yeah. So they've graded it, but you haven't got the book back. Yeah, it, it, I should get it back this week. Holy cow! Less than a month. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, and so, the, and so my turtles books took from May of last year to January of this year, and I'm still waiting for the other two. Yeah, you know, we paid the uh, the expedite fee. The expedite you know, it's like for two weeks. They're at they're actually they're actually at four weeks for wow. for the two week thing. So yeah, so it should come back. It should come back this. Uh, yeah, we should have it by Friday or Saturday. I should have paid the expedite fee on the second batch of turtles books yeah. at the CGS. Yeah, so the CGS. Which would probably take it from 73 days to 68 days or something. Yeah, you save about <laughs> 50 bucks. Uh, but yeah, so instead of two weeks, it, was, it, it, was, it took about a month, and uh, hmm. I got that, and I actually got the, um, I put one other book, I sent one other book out too, the X-Men Annual, the one that, uh, the one that has the Gambit, where they said this could be the first appearance of Gambit or something, you know, not 266. Another one that technically might not be? Yeah, and um, it, that came back at 9.4. Wow. I told, that's a, that, that, well, that, that went from a, the book, a regular book runs about 25, 30 bucks, so that's like a. Two hundred fifty dollar book now, you know, because because uh, graded. So yeah, we so I got I got that one back. Well, that's coming back with it, and then Tom. What did it cost you to grade it? Do you know? 
it cost me it cost me the the Punisher one cost a hundred and something dollars because of its value. So <laughs> There's a lot of pet peeves I have. Um, I don't know what's bigger than the other, uh, but I mean, just you know, some of the stuff like dealing with distributors. Now we've got three distributors to get comics from two different companies, and then the rest of the books from another thing. Um, just more headaches. It's more hassles. But the fact that a lot of times these distributors, they don't want to listen to you. I mean, they, you know, they, you could, I mean, you could, you can talk, 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 and I don't think they care. You know, um, so things get more difficult for us. They don't care. It's business as usual for them. They get their, they get their money. We're the ones on the, on the, on this end stuck with all the crap. You know, um, it's one of the things that, uh, that, that, that I don't like. Um, and others again. Um, these guys, I hate renumbering of books. Tired of, I'm tired of the renumbering. Let's just keep it, let's just keep it going. Um, you know, you got a guy, you got a guy write a book for 25 issues. Oh, well, he's done with it now. And someone else jumps on. Oh, well, we got to restart it at number one. No, keep it at 349 or wherever it is that this guy jumped off. You don't need to re renumber it. As a matter of fact, trade paperbacks. You need to keep those and you need to keep those numbered also. Um, you need them. Uh, you, you need to take the trades and you um, instead of renumber them again when a new writer when a new writer comes up. Um, you know you need to just keep them going so you you know what order to read what order to read them in. You know it's it, it, that that right there is another pet is another pet peeve pet pet peeve. Of mine. So you know you have say you can be reading you can be doing Daredevil and uh, you know. You just had Chip Darsky, Darsky, Zarsky, or uh, whatever, writing it. Um, so you know he started off at at issue one, which is you know now hey we got to go to legacy numbering. You know could be three hundred, it could be seven hundred and twenty-two. Who knows what number we're even on? Um, so now he ends. You had volumes one through four, whatever. Now someone else just took it over, and the next trade is in volume one again. Even though it's still the same, it's still in the same story arc. That shit makes no sense. You should, for the, your trades, you should number them in order. It makes the it makes the consumer it's so much easier for the consumer to go and look to see which one they actually need. They're like, well, what's this number one? I left off at issue forty two. Oh, well, this number one really starts off at forty three now. Uh, but, you know, but it's a new writer, so they renumbered. They even renumbered the trade paperbacks. It's just it's just it's minor shit like that that give that that's that piece. But it all it all just adds up to make you just to make you. And, you know, you don't like it when I get angry. <laughs> oh boy, I got a couple of those. Um, one is how, hard is, it, how hard is it to put something back where you found it? Not that difficult. You know, uh, but you always find, you know, always find, we'll say, we'll say Amazing Spider-Man, for instance. People will start looking at the Amazing Spider-Man back issues, and they grab issue 313. And, oh, they don't want it. But you somehow find it behind issue 517. Yeah, you were close. Only two, only 204 off. Um, you know, put it back. Put it back in one. Or they have a stack and they realize, hey, I've pulled too much. I don't have. I don't have enough money. And they just take that stack and throw it wherever. I would prefer just coming up and says, hey, I looked. I, I pulled these books out. I'm not really sure where they go back. I'll gladly go put them back for you. I, I, as a matter of fact, I'd rather you do that than try to even put them back yourself. Because ninety percent of the time, people can't figure out their 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 alphabet or their numbers. So, um, yeah, just give them back. Just give them back. We'll uh, we'll we'll file them back. At least we'll know in the right spot. And second is the is the ass hats that decide they want to try to feel the packs. You know, we've got this one guy in here, and if you um if you watched one of the old original episodes he was actually in it oh he was actually in the documentary um but they come in and they're they're trying to they're grabbing the pack they're feeling it to see if they can feel if there's a jersey card or something in it um that's not we that's not what we do here that we that's not what we allow everyone has a fair chance to get the jersey or an autograph um but this one clown when you say stop feeling the packs oh sorry it'll put them back then he goes to the next box It'll start doing it again. So I guess he thinks it's just that one box you can't feel. You should go to the next one. Yeah, those those are the clowns that are, that's the clown I want to throw out of my store. Um, 
I don't, I don't get as irritated as much if people don't know how to put things back because I figure that house is just the same way. They don't put shit back at the house or at the grocery store. They're just, they're just lazy and ignorant anyways. But these clowns are damaging product. I'm making it so, I'm making it so um, other people don't have a chance to get, to get the insert card. Um, because they felt up the packs. I don't allow it. Those are the, those are the guys I throw out of the store. You know, it's like, hey, if you can't listen, then leave. Go up to Walmart and fill their packs. Look at every, uh, I don't have a chance to look at every book, you know, before I do like the video. Sometimes I do. I wish I had because this would have been a book that I would have trashed, I would have trashed on. Uh, that's why I picked it up. Yeah. <laughs> so you can make fun of me on my way out. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I don't think, I don't think there's a word. Not, not one. I oh, you know something? Is this by um, Spray? Yo, um, no, this is the one I wouldn't trash on because they actually announced it in the when you ordered it that there are no words in this book. It wasn't. It wasn't a surprise. They says there. It's it's all illustrated. There's no there's no words. Um, and it looks like a good Iron Giant ripoff. Yeah, yeah. So. There you go. You I just get... picked it up because you look like a caveman. Yeah. And who doesn't love cavemen? Like, cavemen. It's got to be a dinosaur in there yeah. somewhere. Oh, yeah, you hope. You hope. Or a talking gorilla or something. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, yes, they, this is the book that they actually, this is the book that they actually announced that there was no, there, it, that there was no word. So I, I'm, I'm not going to complain about it. Most of these books, when you bring them in, they never say in the, when you're ordering them, hey, oh, by the way. No words. It's going to be a silent issue. Um. I don't mind it if it's a good story. Yeah, yeah. You know, they had that. What was the dinosaur book they had for a while there? Gone. Gone. Oh, that, that was, was a good story. That was man. a good story. And yeah. there's no words. Nope. Just a baby dinosaur. Yep. And this, there was parts of that book with no words, and I'm, I was laughing out loud at it. There was just some funny, some funny stuff in it too. This Gone was a fantastic. That book. was a good book. Yeah, nice black and white. It was, yeah, the artwork was amazing. On a side note, I did catch. Uh, what's his face? Oh, uh, Peacemaker. Did you like it? Oh, yeah. Hysterical. Dude. Yeah, that was fucking hysterical. Yeah, you got to have that kind of sense of humor. Oh my yeah. My wife liked it too. Did you? Yeah, my wife I, liked it too. I think it was just to see John Cena's ass. Probably. But yeah, because he did show it off. He did he show did. it off in there. Yeah. He yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I think it's the best, one of the best TV superhero shows that they've actually put out. I, do I, I like it better than I've liked it better than any of the recent Marvel stuff they did. I never thought I'd say that about a DC thing, but I liked it better than the the recent, you know, WandaVision and even Captain America Winter Soldier. Although I started watching Hawkeye too. That's not too bad. Yeah, I like that too. I watched that. I watched that too. I'm only on episode three or something. Yeah. So, yeah, that was that was that was a really good that was a really good show too. Yeah, we end up watching that. It was over before. Like we, it was. I started watching Peacemaker. And I had yet to watch Hawkeye, but Peacemaker was coming out once a week. Hawkeye was already done, so I we had, ended up watching Hawkeye once a week. I had to con the wife into letting me watch it. Yeah. And then once she saw the first episode, it was, oh yeah, this is great, let's go. So we just watched the whole thing. And yeah. So, I like the intro. Fun. The intro, uh, I want to do the dance. The dance. Yeah, the Peacemaker dance. She would skip the intro. I'm like, no. Yeah. But my wife said the same thing. Why do you keep on watching this intro? Because look it's at great. it. Right? This is a great catchy tune. Yeah. Yep. It's going to have all the cast of characters in the intro. Wigwam, uh, I think, made up to number one on the charts now again. Really? Right. The, the book, that, that song hasn't been out in, well, I think it came out ten years ago. And I think, it, I think it hit number one somewhere on the charts or the top ten or something somewhere. That was definitely worth the watch. Yeah. Judo Master was the balls. He was. He was. Yeah. I like that, you know, after he escaped, he's sitting there, he's eating those hot Cheetos. You know, and the guy's just messing, messing with him and... Kicks the shit up, then picks his Cheetos back up and, and, and brings him with him. <laughs> he, he was the boss. Was good all the way around. Yeah. Who gave, who's ever given a shit about Judo Master? N never. Never. No, only nobody. me. I'm the only one that's ever collected that book. Yeah, probably him and and, and and maybe the uh, maybe the writer's and artist's mother or something. Yeah. You know, it's right, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Nobody's nobody's actually cared about Judo Master, but he was the balls of the show. He was. So was Vigilante. He was my favorite. Yeah, guy. yeah. They just—he wasn't like that in the book, though. No, he wasn't. Not at all. No, 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 no. But I'm okay. Yeah, he's yeah. A, he's a—he's a, he's a D-list character, or even lower. You can do whatever you want with them. You know, it's yeah. He was—he was great for this. That kid was good too. Yep. All right, man. I got to roll. All right. See you, Craig. Thank you. Exactly what it's to mean. kill him. What? Kill John Reed Jr. Yeah. Like just like 
You mean like bludgeoning him to death or something? Just arrange an accident. <laughs> well, to be honest with you, remember that trade paperback that that I sold yesterday? The John Romita Ginger Shepherd. Yeah, that artwork didn't look bad from that early from that early stuff. But no, he. I'd rather see John Romita Jr. though than than Ryan Otley. Doing, doing it. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I'd have to agree. Marvel just has shit Because, yeah. I mean, Ryan Otley is too cartoony. At least, at least, um, at least Ramita with a stupid blocky... What is, like, what is that? Like, look, look at Peter Parker there. No, that's, that is definitely, Mary Jane that is Peter definitely the, the worst looking, one of the worst looking Peter Parkers, one of the worst le looking Peter Parkers I've ever seen. Awful. But hey, that's Ramita. He's... You know, so I mean, they're flaunting it like he's back. Like they're yeah. proud of it. No, they are proud they're of happy. it. Right, right, yeah, right. Because they think it'll sell issues. Yeah. Oh, DC has, was happy. He has his fans. DC was happy when they got him. He's he's oh, here. Remember, remember when that cover for Superman came out and it Superman looked Asian? Yep. I was like, what the hell is this? No. Nope. Is that well? What, was you sure it wasn't the new Superman, the yeah, Asian no, Superman? Yeah, yeah. You remember way back when he was ta when oh when Ramita was taking over? Yeah. 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 They had a preview of it in all the comic books. And we're looking at it like, when did Superman turn Asian? Well, John Romita tried to draw him. Captain America Zero. That's a nice cut. That's a nice. Mm, uh, some Falcon action going on. It's a nice hey, Winter Soldier. Work. Yeah. Yeah, I'll never turn down. I'll never turn down some Winter Soldier. But the, I can turn down that Modok though. I can definitely. Yeah. But that looks good. That's a nice drawn Modok though. Who's who's draw, who drew that? Well, this is probably Mark Brooks. Looks like Adam Hughes, I guess. Wrap around cover by Mark uh, Brooks. Mark, yeah, wrap around cover by Mark Brooks. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. But Mark Brooks has nothing to do with the interiors. Yeah. That could be a good thing, too, though. Well, it's going to be Matea de Ulius. He's going to be the artist. I don't know who that is. It could be something we, could be something we read, don't even know. But they, they have great covers and shit interiors. Hey, Glenn. So there's a big two-page spread about the brave new era of Captain America, and we're still not sure if it ever actually ended. The era? Well, this is the, this was supposed to be for the brand new era. Oh, okay. But we haven't seen a Captain America book in what six months. Yeah. Well, well, you know something? <laughs> they had to. Uh, they had to not put out a book for Captain America because, um, what's his name? Tanazi Tanashi Coates or whatever. Yeah, yeah. He he wrote that god awful twenty eight issues of shit that they uh, that they did. So yeah. what you need to do is. You need to not put out a book for six months so people forget how bad the last mm -hmm. crap was so maybe they'll be able to sell a Captain America book again. Well, what is that? But it just seems to happen. Nobody seemed to really be like, oh yeah, they're canceling it. No. no, no one said anything. The only Cap book has been that. Uh, Iron Man Cap? Iron Man Cap or that other one, the United Oh yeah, States the United of States of Captain America, America yeah. Ryan Otley doing Hulk car work. That's yep. gonna be garbage. Oh, that's true. Yeah, but Ryan Otley's doing it with the great Donny Cates. Oh, yeah. yeah. Maybe he'll put himself in that book too. Oh, you know what? He'll be in the background. Yeah. And who's doing uh, who's doing this Thor? Donny Cates and uh, Jane Michael Straczynski and Walter Simonson. Huh. And Dan Jurgens and Oh wait, it's a, is it is it a uh, celebration issue? Yeah, I was gonna say because um I was gonna say yes, yeah, Straczynski's not, not doing anything for Marvel anymore. He is now. Probably that one story. Mm. A little Deadpool bad blood. Hey. So what about Daredevil Woman Woman Without Fear? Is that just like a, like three or four issues or something? That a mini series? Um, look further in, maybe it's still there. I, I, I need you to answer my questions. I don't know. I don't. Because this is an all new era of Daredevil. It's starting here. Right. Because the last one ended. How many times did they do that? Uh, there we go. Uh, oh no, Electra's got her. Yeah, she, no, that's Electra One Hundred. Yeah. Yeah. They do a What If again? <clears throat> yeah. She's gonna be cold. It's snowing out. Look, it's snowing. And she's barely wearing anything. Yeah, but she's um. She's she's trained with the hand, so she's actually cold is not in her mind anymore. Oh, okay. Gotcha. X Men Red, you can keep that. You know X Knights of X. Which one? Which one's Hickman doing? Is he done? I think this is regular X Men. Giant size Thunderbird. Ooh, wow! The world's the world's clamoring yeah, for that I was, book. I was gonna use the word clamoring. You beat me to it. <laughs> It's the book that the world demands. Yeah. <clears throat> There's your favorite book. Ugh. Grand design. Yeah, that, is that Pascore? Look at yeah. that. And Jim, is that Mafood? Or those? Did you read that first, The Savage Spider-Man? No. Was that good? I don't know. I haven't just Jim Rugged. It. Moon Knight, Black, White, and Blood. Cool cover. Hey, suck in, suck out, money grab whatever you can for Moon Knight right yeah. now. That's what they're going to do.
But that that's too much thinking. Because what if too I had done it? Too much thinking. No, because what if I had done it? We did that. The brain's just on autopilot. No, and you went like that. I, I flipped it. And you went, ha ha ha. That was funny. What's oh, funny? I went what if I ever got laughed and said, ah, it's funny when you flipped the book out of my hand. I never flipped the book out of your hand. That was the first time. <sighs> first time you've ever put, flipped a book out of his yeah. hand? Scott? I doubt that, Glenn. Thank you. But I've smashed a book out of your hand before. <laughs> yeah. I've kicked the book out it's of your hand. It's that's all in the realm of stupidity. That, but that I never, I but I should never be flipped one like that. That's and it wasn't like, out of your hand. That's just like that X Men book t together again for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, know, I didn't, I didn't, but I didn't flip it out of your hand. I just, I closed it shut. You flipped it, but not out of your hand. You tried to. I just wanted you to failed. shut it. You tried to and failed. I just wanted to shut it. I want to flip it out of your hand. And you know it's it, wrong. I'm reading it. Yeah, that could have ruined it when it hit the floor. I don't want to do that. I was reading it. See, this I is know. why I think you guys should have your own episodes. <laughs> Just the two of you going at it. <laughs> use some reason. Use some common I sense. I did use some reason. No, you didn't. You reasoned after the fact. Well, sorry it, I murdered that guy. I know murder's <laughs> wrong and everything, but I'm sorry, so it makes it better. Only if I was talking to a priest. Yeah. Then, you know, then that'd be all right. I'm still going to jail. Yeah, you're going to jail. Right, I'm still going to jail, right. Yeah. How can I arrange that? Right. <laughs> Don't start making clicky noises. Yeah, the... Uh, Think about it before you do it. The camera guy... Think like, ahead of time. Uh, the... Uh, God almighty. Uh, but you also... No the the director will tell you to knock it off. Just impulsive right. do, do, do. But you know something? We're not supposed to be thinking when, when the camera's taping the episodes. We're not even supposed to be thinking that the camera's there. We're just doing but our you've normal been told thing. A million times. So my normal thing is to you've, to. you've pissed through two different directors. <laughs> <laughs>